I welcome you to join us and experience the picturesque highway drive from Biawar to Ahmedabad crossing two states Rajasthan and Gujarat India. We had broken off for the night at Biawar Rajasthan on our way to Ahmedabad. We planned to start early through the cold misty morning of dry Rajasthan. Can you guess what this vehicle is? In northern India wheat grain is carried in these bulbous canvas canopies that extend right out of the vehicle to hold huge quantity of grains. We drove for about 8 kilometers along the Pindwara road and merged with National Highway 25. The village road was smooth and dry, sand laced ground with kika trees were on either sides. We finally came to the main highway, National Highway 25, which we drove for over 4 hours. Broad and well maintained, big trucks and trailers moved at high speed. The sun had just popped out of the horizon behind us as we had our coordinates set to west. We touched various towns like the hilly areas of Sirohi and Mount Abu Bypass Road in Rajasthan. We drove through Palanpur in Gujarat on our way to Ahmedabad. The distance that we covered was about 490 kilometers south of Biawar. We took little over 9 hours to cover the distance to Ahmedabad with an average speed of 50 km to an hour. Our max speed was 80 km to an hour as this speed was safest, economic and within legal limits. We were weaving our way from left to right through a maze of trucks dotting the highway every 50 meters. We briefly saw the morning sun through the morning haze on the eastern board as we picked up speed towards Sirohi. The advantage of travelling in the early hours of the day are many. You can avoid the local traffic that keeps coming and creating their own driving rules. This part of India was near to the sea, so it is sultry and gets warm as the sun climbs up. Early in the day, the temperature remains comparatively low and driving is quite enjoyable. The roads were excellent. They were made by blasting sections of rocky hills of the Aravalli range. It was dry and arid. Around 8.30 am, the temperature was around 18 to 20 degrees Celsius. The vegetation was slowly changing. The arid landscape was getting replaced by large sections of greenery as we moved down south. We briefly stopped on National Highway 27 for a spot of North Indian breakfast. It was really delicious. The local highway hole in the wall restaurant made the most succulent parathas, thick with ghee or clarified butter and potato stuffing cut into four pieces for ease of eating. Next came with it a good quantity of lasun ka achar or garlic pickle tossed in ghee with mustard oil and chili powder. The two small glasses were having hot tea with extra sugar and milk added for energy. The breakfast was from heaven. This is the Abu Bypass Road near Sirohe. Human civilization and nature had teamed up to give brilliant landscapes. We are about to pass through man-made tunnels curved out of the hills of Sirohi. The tunnel mouth was well decorated. Graphics were drawn that told the story of this place and Rajasthan. With the greyish dark circular walls around us, we drove through the darkness. The white light of the exit loomed slowly ahead and gave way to the outside undulating world.
The tunnel was quite long. It was lit by passing white lights as we drove through the tunnel road. A demarcation marked the one-lane two-way tunnel road. Small outcrops on the road, perhaps maintenance sections, were present and as we drove on them, the tires made a noise which echoed around us. We had to adjust our eyes as the daylight got replaced by complete darkness and slowly the tunnel exit daylight became larger as we approached it. We had switched on the car headlights to cut the darkness. The car and the truck in front guided us as the tunnel mouth passed above us and we were out in the open. Sirohe is a town nestled in the rocky areas of the Sarawan Hill within the Aravalli range. It was the capital of the princely state of Sirohe. Sirohe was initially part of the Bombay state and became part of Rajasthan in 1950. Good quality roads stretched over the hilly curves as we were driving through the Vindian supergroup of hills. As we turned corners, we saw rocks like quartzite, schist and marble. Long trailers, trucks gave us company as we hugged the mountain corners. The rocky surface was flashing sunlight over the granite and quartz landscape. We drove another two and a half hours more. As we proceeded, this hilly countryside slowly gave way to flatter lands and our excitement also flattened. I thank you for being with us and hope you enjoy the curvy road up ahead with the Aravalli range going past you. Goodbye.